uh, it is time for this week's visit to the red chair. But tonight, in honor of our two beautiful ladies and Ross, uh, it's men only. It's a men only red chair Good. tonight. So, you are in charge of the lever ladies. I'm in charge? Yeah, well, you're Oh, you're in charge yeah. too. Well, the two of you are in charge. And basically, the men are telling you a story to impress you. Right. It's as if they're meeting you, say, in a bar, and they're telling you a story to impress you. It'll be their favorite story, and this is the one to make you kind of think, wow, he's the one. Okay? You may not want to hear the story, uh, in which case you know what to do. Okay, so good luck, boys! Here we go. Hello. Hi there, you're right. Hi. <laughs> Not impressed. That was going to have to be an amazing story. <laughs> that was very harsh. Very harsh. He had sexual ninja written all over him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let, now, look, maybe we're saving the, the fine wine to last. Uh, who, who's next? Oh, uh, now, 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 yes. What's your name? Uh, Andy. It's Andy? Yeah. It's Andy. Where are you from, Andy? Uh, Australia. He's from Australia? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. He's Australia. Okay. Off you go with your... Don't, don't lick your lips like that. It looks, looks weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Maybe we only read anything, but the first one didn't get to speak. Yeah. Most think, of them don't. I think this gives us an insight of if this really was a bar, the way these two would behave. <laughs> Look, standing there. Yeah, you've heard us all. I kissed a girl and I liked it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Got a room. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, is it hot in here? <laughs> okay, one more. Here we go. Oh, hello. He's, made the, he's made an effort. What time are you from, sir? <laughs> uh, what, what's your name? Connor. Connor. And where are you from, Connor? I'm from Hull. Hull? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It should have, you know. What? That's nice. That's the first time anyone's ever said that. <laughs> Hull. Oh, that's nice. Well, I just thought it's up north. You could share, you know, you could share travel yeah. things. We're going to yeah. have to be careful because when you pull that lever, his cello is going to go with him. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, you look lovely. Don't listen to them. Thank um, you. What do you do in Hull? Uh, I'm, I'm a student at the moment. Of? Of chemistry. Chemistry? Yeah. Now, see, that's smart. That's smart, he's from Hull. And it's kind of like a play on words, like he's a student of chemistry, and okay. he's at the bar and he's picking and us up. Where, where are you night. studying? Uh, I'm studying in Oxford. <gasps> from Hull to Oxford, it's like yeah. a, if the graph, the graph is like that. <laughs> that is quite a life trajectory, ladies and if gentlemen. You're... Okay, and now he's if dating you're... a pop princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. If you're a real prince, I'll marry you. Are you a prince? I'm sadly not, no. You idiot! Say yes! <laughs> yes, 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 I am. And she's American, she'd never know. <laughs> I am the Prince of Hull. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, off you go, Connor, with your uh, story. Um, I have an unfortunate habit of sleepwalking, which has got me into some awkward situations, the first That's of it. which was um, locking myself out of my house at 3 a.m., wearing just my underwear. Um, I had been dreaming that I was at a party and that I needed to leave to go home. And when leaving, I um, thought, oh no, I've just gone out of the house and left this person's... Oh, my God! Oh. But he was a friend! I think some fumes from an experiment got to him. <laughs> what part of Hull is he from? Well, actually, I very much like the Humber Bridge. Um, yeah. He's actually from hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we try one more? One more, and then we'll call it a night. Okay. Hello. Hiya. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your name? Michael. Michael. Oh, look, he's a nice smile. Oh, Cheryl. Don't look like that. <laughs> he's lovely. He's wearing two tops. He could be the man. Yeah, oh, they're attached. No, 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 don't say that, don't say that. It's That's fashion, cool, it's fashion. Is the, is the, I know I'm not glass houses and all that, but is the hair, what, what, what's happening there then? It's it got a little like, beardy thing. No, no, the hair, the actual... Oh, top of his head. Like the spiky... <laughs> should that have cheese and pineapple stuck? <laughs> oh, oh, too cruel. 
No, Michael, I'm on your side. I'm, I'm in your corner. So, uh, where are you from, Michael? I'm from London. London, and uh, what do you do, Michael? I run a B and B hotel. He runs a B and B hotel. Right. You either run a hotel or a bed and breakfast. I'll tell you what. what I'll tell you what. Love. I've sorted it down in London to do a B&B hotel, mate. You get your bed, you get your breakfast, get in there, fish spot, and it's got a mini bar, trouser press, sorted, charge you double, lovely. What a bit of cheese and pineapple, mate. Cheese and pineapple. I'll oh, sound like, oh, yeah, right. yeah. B&B, B&B hotel, isn't it? Oh, come on, Michael, tell your story. OK, I was in central London with my wife, shopping. Wait a minute! <laughs> Thank you to my lovely guest tonight, Mr. Ross Noble!